I was trying to see if I heard little feet because mm-hmm. that meant one of my gremlins was up. But mm-hmm. do you hear what I hear? Oh. I hear. <sighs> I really need you to realize how the words appear when you first pop on screen. So and not have it tilted to the side. And I thought when I picked degrees. it up because uh-huh. I had it in my hand, but then I took my thing out and then I dropped it because mm-hmm. I was looking to see if one of the kids were up, mm-hmm. and I realized that I flipped it. Okay. So I had it right the first uh-huh. time, but then I was like, you know, trying to be a decent dad, you know, not a great dad, but you know, at least you know, middle of the road. Uh-huh. It was like, are you one of my kids? Sure. So, but you saw it in the beginning. So you, let's see, let's show it again. Uh-huh. Celtics in five, called it. Let's do when this. You, it, so the, it's so weird though because when you show that and it's talking about beat Philadelphia, it makes it feel like that was for the previous series and not the series that's happening now. No, the- see, this right here is letting people know it says beat Philly. They beat Philly. Uh-huh. Now we're down one to Miami. Now remember, they were down one to Philly. And look what happened. And Philly had the MVP. Y'all got any MVPs in Miami? I hope you win because otherwise you're about to get roasted <laughs> for hey, all man. these videos you put up. Hey, saying, man. We lost one. We can do it again. Hey, man. There's a possibility this will not age well. We'll find hey, out. It, it may not, but you know what? <laughs> mm-hmm. If you're not a fan and you're not willing to stand behind your team, what are you? Okay. There you're we go. just a dude. And I don't want to be just a dude. Uh, well, let's find out <laughs> if we're going to be just dudes or not. Mortal Kombat. Uh, you go be a dead dude. <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat 1, apparently, as it's called. The reboot. Now we have the, yeah, the reboot. Um, are you excited? I don't. I really enjoy what NetherRealm has done with the story mode for Mortal Kombat, like starting with Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. 9. And they're, I don't know what they decided, like, hey, we need to kind of slow down and figure out exactly what we're doing with the stories because they had 50, 60 characters in some of the games before that, like Mortal Kombat Armageddon or Deception. I don't know. There's so many characters. And they kind of pared it down, starting with 9 again, started to retell the story. Uh, I've enjoyed the story mode so far and a lot of this stuff. I think the biggest, and not biggest surprise, but b- before this actually happened, one of the biggest things was, oh, Another Realm was probably was definitely going to be working on Injustice Three because it was Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Injustice, Mortal Kombat. But instead, of this instead of doing another Injustice Three, they said, let's go to Mortal Kombat again. So, well, we also know James Gunn um, said that the games, the movies, and the television shows would all be connected. So now they might have stopped working on injustice after this came out because we know that there's a justice league suicide squad kills the justice league and we know there's a wonder woman movie that was supposedly announced but is that still in development now that we wonder woman game yes what did i say okay you said movie thank you Uh so uh, is that still in development are they still making that game so it could have been that they were working on something and then james gunn was like hey man this is the road we're taking. And, and they were like, oh, hold up. OK, you know, we still have this other game we can be working on. So sure. Yeah, uh, let's see. So I'm going to preface this for you as more of a stand for myself. I know you always whenever we do video game trailer reactions, you always want to see gameplay. Mm-hmm. And I don't know I, if we're going to see gameplay in this because usually they do cinematics first. And then I'm going to be honest with you. It's uh-huh. because it's Mortal Kombat. I don't need gameplay because in the previous iterations of this game, gameplay has been top notch. So okay. I don't need to see game. In other words, this is a proven studio. Yeah. I don't, I'd like, if this was some no name studio or if this was EA, mm-hmm. hey, let me see some gameplay. Like, okay. I need to see the money up front. Sure. Um, but this is NetherRealm. I, I trust them. They okay. have a track record of, of, of excellence. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I love that. This shit about to get real. It is time. Is that right? Time to wake up. I think that's to a new reality. Luke Kang. Kang. With Raiden's to a blank hat. canvas yeah. that I have painted in with warmth and peace. In my new era choice is yours whether to live in quiet serenity 
or bloody strife. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. Hey, girl. You can face each other. <laughs> as sworn enemies. Or united as brothers. But a storm is brewing. And soon you will discover that even in this new era, hmm. one constant remains. You. There is always something worth fighting for. Oh, God! Jesus! <laughs> God damn! You have Jesus. chosen Almost to be fine, peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. <laughs> okay, so that's a fatality. Jesus. <laughs> September 19th, okay! And he split a dude in half. Shang Tsung, like I thought that was Shang Tsung, and uh, wow, pre-order May 19th at 10 p.m. So you can start pre-ordering tomorrow. Okay. Um. So, I am not, I, 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 I haven't played a Mortal Kombat game. So I will tell you this, at this point, if they're like if it's if it's not your main game, I would tell you just to watch a YouTube or the story mode. I mean, watch a let's play of the story mode. What I'm saying, I've I've seen some of the story mode. My question okay. is, where does this? So is this a reboot? Okay. This, so like in other words, so like, full disclosure. Okay. I, I I enjoy the Mortal Kombat games. I'm not great at them, but I know the story, so I'll try mm -hmm. to keep catch you up with where we are. So you had Mortal Kombat's one through blah blah blah. And then Mortal Kombat 9 came along and chat helped me out and people who come in new and give us the stuff in the comments. Mortal Kombat 9 kind of retold the story of the like the first Mortal Kombat tournament, mm -hmm. not the original one, but like the original Kung Lao, but like with the modern day Kung Lao, whatever. And they kind of told those stories again. Then Mortal Kombat 10 happened. Um, story kept going. Mortal Kombat 11, at the end of it, um, there is this lady called Kronika. Mm -hmm. She was she turned out to be the ultimate big bad who we found out retconning wise had been controlling stuff all along. She was the, so the she, she was the, the hand behind the she was the puppet master. She was the yes. reason why bad stuff was happening. Like, oh, this is what I really want to happen. Um eventually Liu Kang and Raiden, they got they kind of found out that they were being manipulated and Long story short, Kronika dies. Liu Kang becomes the new person of destiny slash ultimate god, and he rewrites history. Mm -hmm. At the end of Mortal Kombat, or in the Mortal Kombat 11, I think he gets the time crown or whatever, mm -hmm. and he's able to rewrite history, and he brings some people back. Oh, yeah, at one point, Liu Kang died. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, so this is like a um, essentially Liu Kang has the power, and he has kind of rebooted the Mortal Kombat world. Okay. Chat, let me know. Uh, but so, I think that's kind of where we're at. So we're we're at a new world. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like in living in peace. Mm -hmm. And then shit happens. Yes. So my question to you is, who's the new big bad now? Because correct me if I'm wrong, whoever that was who just split a dude in half, that was... The person who, th that person right there with the, with the powers mm -hmm. is Liu Kang. He didn't the have person, that. The, no, correct. The person he split in half was Shang Tsung. That so that uh, Jesus. 
<laughs> so, so much. Uh huh. If he's that badass, uh huh. Who in the fuck is gonna challenge him? I mean, <laughs> that, who, who that, knows? That, that, like that's my question. Like if he just split Shing Sun in half, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Shing Sun kind of was a badass. Was am, am well. I wrong? He, he was, and then you realized, oh, there were people above him who were more badass, like uh, Shao Kahn. And you could probably argue Quan Chi might have been above Shang Tsung. I don't know, but yeah. So I, I and, just, and Shinnok or whatever, but yeah. I just I just feel like that dude just de- decimated. So and I'm, yeah, one thing that I, I think is interesting and, and that I like that the Netherrealm Studios and WB, whenever you see their cinematic trailers, they're very mm-hmm. good about kind of giving you subtle hints of what will be gameplay wise based on what you see mm-hmm. in the cinematics. Okay. Uh, like, I feel like these environments may be similar to the actual stage environments that you see. Okay. Uh, and the, and if you notice, they're very detailed environments. I think Mortal Kombat has done very good in terms of having stage interactability and um, stuff like that. So I, I think maybe we're going to see an environment that's in a countryside or see an environment that's in like a little tea shop or whatever, or maybe a, pers- a royal procession going by. I think those are the kind of environments you're going to see. And then also, if you noticed, it seemed like they did a bunch of pairing of people. Mm-hmm. Like they had Katana and Melina. They had Sub Zero and, and, and Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah. Uh, and then the first person we saw, I thought that that was Liu Kang. That wasn't Liu Kang because Liu Kang came later with his powers. But he had like a, I want to say it's not a rice paddy hat because that's probably racist, right? I mean, yeah. I've already said it now, but it is what it is. To be honest with you, I say a lot of things, and I don't know if they're racist or not. So I'm probably the last person to ask. Well, I'll, you know, I'll call it a Raiden hat because Raiden always wears a hat like that. That's easy enough. See, that's what I thought it was at first. I was like, "Yeah, I feel like Raiden. Did he die, or he just kind of, kind of got? I don't know that he died. He kind of just said, "Hey, Liu Kang, I'm going to give you the power so you can take over because." I was corrupted by Shinnok's amulet. Man, there's so much story, Leroy. It's crazy. But anyway. Um, so he force ghosted himself. I want to say yes, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that does sound familiar, so maybe. But we definitely saw Kung Lao, at least the modern Kung Lao, not the old Kung Lao. And then I don't know if the other person was with the Raiden hat. But I say all that with the pairing thing is some people, and this isn't my idea, but like a lot of streamers, or at least one that's very well known, Maximilian dude, well known for video games. Mm-hmm. He brought up the idea of tag team mechanics in terms of like maybe it's instead of it just being a one on one fighter, it could be a two v two fighter. Kind of like what they used to do with the Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, yeah. And the that's fact that they show mechanic. people in that the fact that they show people in pairs, that could be something. But when we saw one of the people attack, it was one on one. So who knows? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, September 19th, we finally got a date. Now, here's my question for you. Uh huh. You've always said that you're bad with money. Oh, am I going to get the super stupid special edition? Yep. Yep. Uh, so I did get the one for because you have you have the scorpion helmet. I, I have the big old scorpion, yeah, mask which that is just sitting you cannot in, a, in a room. You cannot. <laughs> nope. I'm a, I'm a little mad about that because it's just feel, sitting in a room. I feel for that price, you should be able to wear the scorpion helmet. I agree with that. I agree with that for sure. Um, would I get the super crazy edition? I have to see what's in it. Okay. Maybe, maybe I won't get that one. Maybe I'll get the one that's right below it. That probably is like the season one pass that gets you all the DLC characters. Mm-hmm. One thing that I do hate about fighting games, and I understand because it's a business, but the, the, the longer, fighters. well, yeah, like the longer a fighting game is out, I feel like the better value it is to pick it up later in its lifespan. Mm Because you can get like the game of the year edition that has all the characters Mm -hmm. in it for the price of what you would have paid at the beginning. And actually less than the price you'd have paid at the beginning. Right, right. And the issue with that is if you wait that long and if you're not like a super fighting game savant like other people or if you're just like a a regular player like me, then you're behind the eight ball because people who have been playing it from the beginning know everything. Yeah. So it kind of sucks. But But you're you're a little older anyway, so you're... Quick twist, you know, quick twitch muscles and fast. Oh twitch yeah, those, muscles. Are, those yeah. are gone. So you're gonna lose to a 12 year old no matter what. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Thank you for putting that in perspective. But you know who's not gonna lose? Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Fair 
<laughs> oh. um, I am really, let me bring this back up again. Mm-hmm. Just to see this. Yeah, man. He split that dude in half, man. And I love how peaceful this trailer started. Because you're like, oh. Because you, you know fatalities are going to be in the game because it's Mortal Kombat. But you're like, you, maybe they're going to save them for this one and they're going to show them in the second trailer. I'm going to be honest with you. The first part of that trailer was very peaceful. And then it just stopped. And it <laughs> yes. was like, oh, y'all thought this was going to be a Disney movie? <laughs> no. No. Not at all. Um, they, they just started fucking up people left and right. They did. They really did. September 19th seems far away, but it'll be here before you know it. I'm curious yeah. when we're going to see gameplay. And speaking of that, we you may be what? talking about that. Summer's and, game, Summer Game Fest. Okay. Because I'm going to do a teaser for our audience. I think we're going to see it sooner. Really? And you can, you can find out my answer when we put up our press play. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we're going to see it sooner. Uh, I don't. I don't have any inside knowledge. I just. I just have. I just feel that. But yeah. Nobody tells us stuff. We just. You yeah. Know. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, but uh, like, comment, subscribe. We put up more stuff. If you guys want to see us react to more video game trailers, let us know as well because we're really mainly focused on a lot of movie stuff and TV shows. But if you want to see more video game stuff, let us know. Hey, let. I mean, let us know what you want to see. We've been um, doing some interviews, doing some different videos, doing different things. Um, I like doing the. So like when we did the the mother video. I like doing that. So maybe we do more top five, you know, top five, you know, video games that or top five movies or top five, you know, I like I like doing it. So, OK, yeah, let us know. Uh, be sure to follow us on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Either we try and we try and y'all all those places mm-hmm. until next time. We'll see you all later. We have Go Celtics. <laughs>